Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Now y'all got to forgive my lighting. Forgive my lighting. And uh, I'm uh, on the road with the family. With the family right now. And uh, got us a showcase in Palm Springs, California for soccer. But I wanted to pop in because I've been shooting some videos. And it's been some heavy topics. You know, it's been some heavy topics and we we going in. We going in and what you gotta remember, my sound is not always gonna be right. My lighting is not always gonna be right. So at the end of the day, and I'm gonna tell y'all something too. That's a problem with us now. We want everything easy. We want everything convenient. The same thing that has non blessed tribe members meaning these these are individuals who do not pay to support the channel meaning the channel is 100 percent free to them the blessed tribe members paying from two dollars and something to three dollars and something a month or if you in the blessed business tribe they they paying ten to twelve dollars a month and so that's a lot that's a lot of money to be given every single month to support the channel so that's why i take their suggestions to heart because if you done spent your money and that withdrawal come out and the patreon supporters patreon is from five dollars to fifty dollars a month patreon supporters so that's why i take their suggestions to heart because they investing in the channel but i've been getting all these comments from people who not in either blessed tribe and who not in not a patreon supporter saying oh tony i don't like the sound your sound wasn't good your lighting wasn't good and it's like listen close your eye close your eye close your ears then but see, that's also a lesson because that's part of our problem. We want everything so easy. That's why we can't make relationships work because somebody passed gas, we ready to get a divorce. Somebody get on our nerves, somebody do a pet peeve, we ready to get a divorce. Like I'm going on 16 years of marriage and my wife get on my nerves sometimes. I get on her nerves sometimes. The day I was putting up the luggages I left her luggage. It was a miscommunication. I didn't know she had that luggage. I didn't see it. So I had to send the driver back to the house and send him inside of my house. That, that's a huge risk to get her luggage. And she was mad about that. She got a little, you know, she was in a little feeling. She got over it, went to bag, got back there and stuff. And she liked to play around. You know, she liked to play a lot. But what that tell me, if my wife playing with you, she love you, she happy. Like if she playing jokes on you, she pranking you, she giving you a wedgie, like she be doing me, that means she happy and she love you. And so what happened is, I'm getting text messages and, and so hopefully everything good. Because my driver, he driving for one of my clients right now and i made the connection so they text and i'm hoping everything good oh lord come on now, now you texting me man i think if i check the text it's gonna cut off the whole video see how you be working and you have stuff going on yeah maybe if he called me i know y'all forgive me now y'all forgive me and so listen to me so people so think about this. I want you to think about this human nature. If people are getting something for free and have the audacity to complain, imagine how much a person gonna complain in a relationship when they giving their body to somebody. They giving their time to somebody. They giving their heart and their energy to somebody. And it's like, when I post a video, don't you think I know the sound bad? I can hear the video. Don't you think I know the lighting bad? I can see the video. 
but I got to post what I got to post because I don't know how long God going to give me. And I can't wait till every light is green before I leave the house. I got to do the work regardless of what it looked like. And you just got to get the message. If you got to turn it all the way up and then turn it down when the ads come on, or if you just need to close your eyes. But it's also too, don't worry about the lighting. Don't worry about seeing my eyes. Don't worry about my facial expressions. Get the message. Get the message. Don't worry about looking at me. Don't worry about hearing it crystal clear. Get the message. And this is going to teach you a lesson in life is finish the job. Meaning when you get in a relationship, get the message. So listen to me. From what I was talking about on them heavy videos, it's a lot of women that want to hear me say, give up on black men, give up on black men. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm a black man. Somebody say, oh, I'm biased. No, I'm, I'm very real. I'm very real. I'm the first one to tell you that the state of men is trash right now and that we trash. But one thing that, that we acting like trash and that we immature and we ain't doing what we need to do. I'm the first one to tell you that. But at the end of the day, I also understand we human. Every human is flawed. Ain't nobody finna be perfect. You So you could go to white, you could go to Asian, you could go to Hispanic, and you're going to have your own set of problems. You're going to have your own set of problems. It's just going to be... It's just gonna be a different set of problems, but it ain't gonna make you no happier. You ain't gonna be no happier. If you can't be happy with somebody that look like you, talk like you, come from where you come from, you ain't gonna be happy with somebody who come from the whole other side of the aisle, whole different culture. So, and if you could be happy with somebody of another culture, then I guarantee you, you could be happy with somebody of your culture because this this the problem love is not created i mean love is not found love is created people think that it's so many women that think and men that think i'm gonna meet this person and love just gonna happen it's gonna be magical we're gonna be a match made in heaven everything just gonna come together it's just gonna be easy or not easy, but if it's, if it's real, it's gonna work, or it's just supposed to work. No, you have to make it work. That's why I titled my book, Make It Work. You have to make it work. Ain't nothing just gonna work. And so here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm give you the secret with black men. The only thing with black men is you have to communicate but you have to communicate effectively. And you gotta communicate based on the person. You can't hammer a screw. You screw a screw. And you can't screw a nail. You hammer a nail. So you don't put a square in a round hole and you don't put no circle in a square so here's the thing women coming in with black men and you're not learning your man and therefore he's not learning you y'all ain't learning each other you bringing your trauma you bringing your pain you bringing your past you bringing your upbringing and you just applying it to this person like it's just supposed to fit and that's not how that works you got to learn each other you got to learn each other you got to be able so with my wife i learned i've learned that she's sensitive in the sense of she don't like any critique she don't like any correction she don't like it but anything she hears that she need to do or that you want her to do or that you need from her, she'll do it immediately and she'll do it to a T. So I and I've learned I don't have to be harsh with her. I don't have to yell at her. I don't have to curse at her. My wife is not going to yell. She's not going to fight. She's not going to curse. Tate and turn it down one notch. 
She not going to yell, fuss, and fight and curse. So I could just be, I could talk to her just like I'm talking right now, and she going to respond if it's something that I need or want. I've also learned that she will go to the end of the earth and back for me. She is not a selfish person. She's a selfless person. She will do anything for somebody she loves. I've learned that. But what I was doing when my marriage, when I'm going through, when our marriage is going through, is I was trying to hammer a screw. And I'm bringing my intensity, my bluntness, my directness, my harshness, the way I am, I'm bringing that to somebody who is more sensitive, who, who she more, she, she, that stuff is abrasive to her because she come from that. She's Jamaican, so she come from people saying stuff the wrong way, people being too cold, people being too harsh, people being too distant. Like her family is a type of family where it's a lot of ego, it's a lot of pride, it's, it's to where she, her family's type of family blood siblings will fall out and not talk for years not talk for for ever and so they got a lot of pride whereas my family you could talk to my family they talk to each other any kind of way yell fuss cuss call names and be talking back the next day but my wife family is not like that you, you got to come with a hundred percent all the way respect or you're going to get cut off and you might not ever hear from them again. They won't ask you from nothing. They'll be taking their last breath and your breath could give them life. They'll, they'll die. That's the type of pride that her family have. My family, they had this thing. Oh, we blood, we blood. So get over it. Like we blood. And so my family feel like they could talk to you any kind of way and you supposed to be okay with it. So I brought that in. So what's happening is black men and black women are not communicating and learning each other. The man ain't learning the woman. The woman ain't learning the man. So black women saying, oh, I'm done. I'm done with black men. I'm done with black men. And it's like, how many black men have you dealt with? You had one horrible relationship now you done with the whole race okay you had three relationships before I met my wife I hadn't dated meaning every woman that I laid down with was a woman that I could have saw as a wife I went through over a hundred women before I met my wife so it's like you coming in here and you coming in with no knowledge you're not getting the knowledge. So you ignore all the red flags because you don't know the red flags. You ignore all the red flags. The man controlling from week one. The man inconsistent. The man is a liar. The man is a perpetrator. But because you don't know what a grown boy look like, you ignore all the red flags. And then when you get hurt, now you are done with black men when it was halfway your fault because the man can only do what you allow him to do. But if you get the knowledge, you're gonna be able to recognize, it's just like how we recognize a scam. It's like, okay, how do you know that's a scam? How you know that's a scam? Like if, if you answer your phone and they say, hello, is this um Jane Doe? And you like, yeah. Um, can you verify your social security number for me? You like what? Verify my social security number. Who is this? How you know that? Okay, my point exactly. So when you meet a man, if you done got the knowledge, if you done learn, when you meet this man, then if he he say the wrong thing, this man come in and he like, hey, why you wearing that? Why, why, do you, why are you wearing that? Like, that's what you're going to wear? And you like, huh? Like, you ain't my husband. You ain't my boyfriend. 
Now you know that's controlling. But you know what? Nine out of ten women, they're like, oh, you know, I can't wear this? Wow, okay. You So you care about what I wear? Man, you care that much? Okay, I'll change. Excuse me. And think that that's cute. Oh, he cares. Oh, he don't want me to hang out with my friend. Oh, he don't want me to go out to the club. Oh, he don't want me to wear this skirt. No, it ain't that he care because he don't even know you enough to care. Men cheating and beating on women they done knew for years. He don't even know you enough to care. So it ain't that he care, it's that he's controlling. And so us men, we show these signs and women don't put up, pick up on it. And then when you get taken through the ringer, then you say, oh, you done with black men. It's not even about that, but it's like if you learn men, you learn how to talk to a man, you learn how to read a man, then it's just like Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan, um, the dog whisperer, it's the same thing. Cause every, and a, a woman say, Tony, can you start talking about a good man? There is no such thing as a good man. A man becomes a good man. There is no such thing as a good man. The only good man is Jesus Christ. Every other man is flawed. So a, every one of us become, when I met my wife, I was not a good man. I was a liar. I was abusive. I was controlling. I was toxic. I became a good man based on what she stopped, what she allowed, and what she reinforced. For some crazy reason, women are thinking that a man is going to come packaged and ready because you think that you are packaged and ready. But when you talk to a man like myself who is unbiased, I have never met a woman who is packaged and ready. I've met several women who think they are ready, but still got a jaded mindset, still got being controlled by their ex, still is hurt, is jaded, is is lost, but but because she makes six figures or seven figures, because she got a job, close the computer down, because she got a job, because she got a house, because she got a car, because she got a degree, she thinks she ready when none of that stuff relates or equates to a relationship and being ready for a man. So the same way a woman has to learn in the relationship based on her man how to be a good wife to that man, a man has to learn how to be a good man to his woman based on that woman. So a good woman to one man is a woman who cooks and who cleans. A good woman to another man is a woman who works and helps pay the bills. A good woman to another man, so it depends on the man you have. Like my wife, she don't have to cook. I'm okay eating out. It's, that's not every man. I'm okay going to a nice restaurant and letting that chef who is trained on how to cook food based on temperatures and every that, I'm okay with him or her cooking and me paying the bill. I'm okay paying $100 a night to eat from a restaurant. I'm not every man. I'm okay paying a house cleaner, a laundry person, a driver, I'm okay with that. That's not every man. So my wife and her lifestyle and what she has access to, she would be seen as a horrible wife to another man who he has this mindset that a wife is this, 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 this. A woman who just want to cook every day and, you know, just want to be like this, 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 will be boring to me. I get tired of her cooking, regardless of how good she cook. I, I want to taste chef this, chef that, chef this, chef that. A woman who frugal and don't like to spend money, want to ride old raggedy car and got that old raggedy purse, I'd be tired of her. 
I'd be like, child, listen. You see what I'm saying? Like me, I like to live. Like I like to live. Tomorrow ain't promised. So I had a room at the Fairfield Inn. We had a room at the Fairfield Inn. My spirit wasn't sitting, wasn't sitting right with that Fairfield Inn. So I counseled it, and we had the Ritz Carlton. We had the Ritz Carlton, like Plyden, no, vibing at the Ritz Carlton. Because my spirit say, I need to live. I need to scratch my mind. I need, and I had to get the desert view room. I ain't want the base room. This ain't the highest now. They got three, four levels higher. But so I know my level now. But hey, I had to get me a little view. And I had to come to the Ritz Carlton. And when I walked in here, and I seen these people, I say these people is out my tax bracket. These people on another level. These people, I ain't even supposed to be in here, but that's how I make money because I stretch my mind. If I had old scarcity-minded, struggle-minded woman who she want to pee in the pan, it'll drive me crazy. So that's what I'm saying is it ain't nothing wrong with black men. They just men. And they flaw like every other man. But what they need is to meet their woman who's not going to be afraid of them. They need to meet, a man need to meet a woman who's going to learn his language and sit down with him and speak that language. So for some men, it's going to be a firm voice. For some men, it's going to be a softer voice. For some men, you could talk to him standing up. For some men, you got to talk to him sitting down. For some men, you can dress it right then. For some men, you got to wait 24 hours. It's going to be different based on the man. It ain't nothing wrong with the men at large. They, they living in the world and they operating the way they operate. But like what I told y'all, black men are forward. Black men are, they, 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 they out there, meaning they know worse than white men or Asian men. It's just other men, white men and Asian men, they throw the rock and hide their hand. Black men throw the rock and then look at it, hit you, and say, I threw it, what? What you gonna do? So it's just a difference. You dealing with a man who is a quote unquote like alpha male versus a man who is quote unquote a beta male. And it's gonna be both on both sides, but the black man done went through so much. He got so much fear. He got so much anxiety. He got so much trauma. He's operating differently. But at the same time, he's still a soft hearted person who got a big heart and can love. He just gotta be reached. And if black women are honest, black women are the same way. Black women got a hard exterior. Black women could be very catty, could be very confrontational, could take stuff so serious. Black women walk on edge, walk on eggshells. You say something to a black woman and you could be joking and she take offense to it. And, and then she might lighten up and laugh. But when you watch these videos, of the black men, they going out and they talking to women. Whenever they go up to the black women, the black women are always kind of like, huh, what? Man, what you doing? And then she'll laugh. And the white women always just from the jump giggling. <laughs> and it's just because of our path is different. Now, yes, it's not every single one of them. It's, one size, it's not one size fits all. It's exception to the rule. Understand that. I get tired of having to say that, but... It, it, people literally come in the comments like the video I was doing the other day a grown lady in her 40s or 50s literally come in the comments Tony you are so off base on this because I do this and my daughter do this and my mom and it's like ma'am do you know it is millions of people just cause y'all do that don't mean that's y'all the norm you are the exception to the rule you don't understand that but so y'all forgive me when I be saying that. So listen to me. Now I'm I'm in a hotel and I'm in a real corner. So the walls paper thin. So that's why this video is lower. I ain't talking as loud as I talk when I'm at home in my own house in my office. 
saying it's somebody being a comment. Tony, um, I was trying to listen to the video, but it was just so low. Uh, can you get a new microphone like um, Bishop such and such or like such and such because they microphones is really good. Yeah, they not in they not in the Ritz Carlton in California with their son who finna playing a showcase for pro scouts shooting a video on their tripod. So yeah, they sound is amazing because they in a stationary place in their home shooting video when I'm on the road. So understand that, y'all forgive me. But that's how they'll be working. Just try to complain to steal a few minutes of each video so we can't get deep down and dead. So if you hear this and you realize that you've been working for the devil, complaining about stuff that you're not helping pay for, then stop working for the devil and just get what you get and don't pitch a fit like the teachers say. So now listen to me. So listen. So no. Is Jesus Christ giving up on you? No, Jesus ain't giving up on you. Jesus ain't turning his back on you. And you're not perfect. So no, y'all not going to get me to give up on black men. Those y'all, uh, we sick and tired of black. I had to block one lady because every she followed me all around social media. Tony Gaston don't want to understand that we sick of black men. We tired of black men. Man, why are you watching my videos then? Shut that mess up, Satan. You working for the devil. Follow me around every social media trying to tell me you sick of black men. You sick of black men. Yeah, okay. And go get your white man then. You obviously ain't got your now man because if you had your happy white man, you wouldn't be following me around online making comments everywhere. So it's like, how you want me to be mad with black men when I'm a man, when I'm a black man, and then also when I'm being harassed by a black woman when all I'm trying to do is help. So now what that make it look like is is the black woman is just as crazy as a as what she's saying a black man is. I'm like woman, I'm a stranger. I'm married. I'm doing video for free trying to help. You harassing me, chasing me all around line, tagging me, trying to make your point about how horrible black men is. When you see I'm a successful and healthy black man, but I used to be a drug dealer and an abusive man. So I know that men could change. I know men could grow. And that's why I'm doing the work. And it was a woman who stood her ground, who was not afraid of me, who told me what she needed without yelling, without cursing, without fighting. And that reached me that pierced my heart that reached me and that helped me change every man want to change now some men don't want to change yeah he do if he don't want to change for you that means you're not the one so understand that and move on it's another man that's for you you ain't gonna be able to speak everybody language it was a hundred plus women who i did not change for because they were not the woman for me so get that early, understand that early, and go on about your business. Hey, this Tony Gaskin. I got to go. My wife texted me a couple of times. I, I had booked her a spa appointment so she could get a massage. Here go, this come from a man who used to be, you know, toxic and all of that. Here I am upgrading my, the experience for the hotel. So my wife, I said, my wife is a queen. I want her in a nice hotel. I want her to be inspired too because she be around these women and she see how they carry themselves. She see how they dress. She learn little fashion tips. She see other things. And then she get to get her a massage, go to the sauna, and I set that up. She didn't ask me for that. I, I booked that for her. And then I said, hey, we're going to take a trip to L.A. because we two and a half hours from L.A. And I booked the hotel there. And... A nice hotel so she could get that experience and y'all know we just was on that yacht this what I'm trying to tell you this why I carry the message I carry cuz I know the man I used to be and one thing I'm telling you if you living and breathing you on this video you ain't met no man that was no worse than me I was one of the biggest liars one of the biggest my ex before my wife I was with her for two years while I was with her, I slept with 26 other women. 
I know the number because I thought that that made me a man. So, so you gonna look at me and tell me to give up on black men when I know the man that I was and I see the man that I am, but I know that it was a woman that God gave the key to my heart. So if God ain't gave you the key to his heart, realize that and stop trying to pick the lock and go on about your business. And when you meet the man that you got the key to his heart, you're going to realize he got the key to your heart and y'all going to be a fit and y'all going to ride into the sunset and it's going to work. And if you don't meet that and you happen to meet it in another race, then God bless you. But don't just wipe out a whole race just because you done been hurt. Because that is a clear sign that you are not doing the work and you are not healed. That is a clear sign that you're toxic. That is a clear sign that you're jaded. That is a clear sign that you're broken. If you could curse an entire race and you've only dealt with this much men, that is a sign that the devil got you. That the devil came in and broke your heart, broke your trust, broke your love, and stole from you the greatest gift that God has given to mankind, which is love. The devil that made you stop believing in love in a whole entire race. And then you got the nerve to say you heal when you don't believe that this man is capable of love and being changed and growing. That means you don't believe in God and you don't believe in the power of God that men and women can grow and change. And if you don't believe in that, then I'm the wrong person for you because I'm a living witness. I'm a living testimony. I'm a living example of a complete change of a 180 degree turnaround. I'm that person. So that's why my message is what it is. Hey, this Tony Gaskin, God bless you. I got to see what my wife is. She probably sent me pictures from the spa and stuff. God bless you. We'll talk soon. And y'all forget a volume. Forget me volume. <laughs> uh, is there any way that you could get a new microphone? <sighs> you see the button up under the video? It got a little dollar sign in it in a heart. Click that right there. Click that right though. Since you want to make demands and you want to have suggestions, click that right there and help me get to where I need to be at. Since I ain't on the level that you want me to be on like the rest of the life coaches you're listening to. Click the button. Because see, some people, some people is bishops and, and all that and they get to take up tithes on every Sunday. I don't get to take up tithes. So I ain't always gonna have all the equipment and everything you need. Cause I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a person who does YouTube. Understand that. And to those of y'all who knew you, you, you get it, y'all forgive me. Don't, don't get mad with me when I be talking to how the devil be using people to get on my nerves. Don't, 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 don't get mad with me. Just laugh at it, scratch your booty, get glad. Don't, don't be in the comment. Tony, just ignore them. Don't, no, I got to pay on some tension. I know I can ignore them, but I don't want to because I want them to learn a lesson to understand they hindering the spirit when they operate outside the spirit, stating the obvious that if I could do it better, I would. And that only certain situations will provide that. And it ain't always going to be that case because I shoot running and gunning. So, hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.